Hi, this is Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. Have you ever had a model where you have to mix units for one reason or another? Let's say you've got sort of a sort of English model, but you bought a metric component that has to fix fairly precisely. Well, we're going to show you a technique on how to accomplish that. I'm going to make a very simple model here. Let's call it Simple Model. And I am going to use an English template, so we'll have English units. And we'll start out with our very simple first feature. We'll just make a nice plate on this thing. Make a box. We'll make these units something a little more in the real world for us to deal with. As you can see, basic English units. Now let's say I'm buying some sort of metric component that goes in here, and I'm going to put the, uh, the spacing for that here, uh, the mounting. So let's do that. Let's make extrude here. And I'm going to make a little hole and a, maybe a mounting pattern for something that looks like a connector maybe. Now let's say this is going to be 37 and a half millimeters. So I'll do my little math to make that happen. Ooh, but I'll do the math the proper way. Remember, folks, divide by 25.4, not multiply. There we go. And we'll locate this in a certain place. And we'll say OK. We'll scroll that the other direction and we'll make that a cut. I've got this model here and I'm happy with it. I did the math. Somebody might go in here later and say, what is this? Oh, geez, Mark must have been drinking that day. Let's round that up to 1.50 for him. And then we regenerate that. They've ruined what I had intended to do. There's nothing, no breadcrumb trail I left behind that says, hey, that was a was that number for a specific reason that's a metric thing. Well we can take care of that in our relations. So if we go to the relations editor right here, I can say this whole dimension, this D7, should have been equal to 37.5 and here's where the trick comes in. There's a pull down over here and I'll let that highlight, select unit from the available list. Or I could say hey that should have been in millimeters and look at all these different units I can do so I've got the flexibility to define something in a unit that is dissimilar to the default of the model if I've got a design reason to do that and when I regenerate this it goes back to its size now if somebody else looks at this model and they're gonna edit that and they're gonna go well that's a weird dimension let's change that they double click on it and they get a note in the bottom saying hey that dimension is equal to 37 and a half millimeters. So it leaves a breadcrumb trail behind to let folks know that was done for a reason. Now if you have any questions on this tip or any of the other tips, contact us at EAC or leave us a message under this video. Also, you can find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.